Hi, today's informational video is regarding self-love and self-care. I am not doing a fitness video today. However, I have been anxious and fearful and um, I have been fighting to keep myself and my children protected. My abuser, Mark W. Bryan, decided to violate the protection order on Monday. I called law enforcement. Law enforcement indicated that what he did was not a violation. Um, my abuser had left when I was talking to the police. However, he drove back, got out of his car and started to approach me. I went into a near tizzy because he has threatened to kill me. The police officer did nothing until I nearly passed out because Mark was coming close to me. He then told him he needed to stay and he would talk to him later. When I indicated that that in itself was a violation, the police officer then stated that it was not, that he was sure he just wanted to talk to the police officer. And therefore he minimized my victimization as a domestic violence victim. I felt degraded, I felt dismissed. And it's important that victims stand tall and stand proud. I was feeling more like a survivor. And now I am re-victimized by the law enforcement, the very agency that is supposed to protect me, that is supposed to protect my family. There is a protection order that expires in 2024 that has just been renewed for five years. And I don't have law enforcement behind me. So it is up to me to protect myself and to protect my family. And that's frightening because this man has violated me in so many ways as well as violated the safety and sanctity of our family. So I wanted to let you know that I am still standing and I am still fighting and I have taken, I have taken the issue legally to the law and I have asked for an inquiry into the law enforcement and into the police officer's behavior because it was not legal, it was not justified and he dismissed and degraded me. So I wanted to let you know that, that as a survivor and as a victim of domestic violence, we can stand and we can unite and we can work together. And hopefully at some point, domestic violence will be obliterated. At this point, however, even though I have a protection order, one thing must be understood is that domestic violence does not end when the victim and the abuser are separated. The abuser will find any way they can to continue to victimize and to abuse and harass their victim. It doesn't stop. I'm on my sixth year now and I still have to deal with Mark Bryan's abuse. So um, there you are in a nutshell, that's what has happened in the past few days. And uh, please, again, if you know of anybody who needs help or anyone who is in a domestic violence situation, please offer your support and listen to them. That is the best treatment and advice that I could give for you to give to them. All right, take care. Thank you so much, bye.